So I'm ready to sketch. Now I'm going to click on the button up here that says sketch and it comes up with this box and it's saying sketch plane, select my plane. So I'm going to click on top and now I'm going to be drawing on there. Now it's not a good angle at the minute for me to draw on that. So if you look at, you've got this little cube in the top right corner, the top front and right. If I click on top, the camera pans around. Now I'm looking above, like straight onto it, which is going to make it easier for me to do my sketching. Now, all of my drawing tools are here. Okay. All my drawing tools are here. So I've got straight lines. I've got rectangles. So if I click on the drop down, I can draw rectangles from the corners or from the center point. I've got circles. Again, I can draw it from the center of the circle or I can make three points or an ellipse, which is like an oval. I've got arcs, which I can draw. I've got polygons, which includes hexagons, pentagons, octagons, all the guns. And then if I click on this drop down, this is a spline. So this is like a curvy line that I can draw. Okay, here I've got text, so that's going to be coming handy when I put my numbers on. Okay, and then the rest of them are for editing afterwards, so I'll show you those afterwards. So I'm going to draw, start off with a very basic shape for my clock. Uh, so let's say, for example, I want to make it, uh, I'm going to start off with an ellipse. So I've clicked on that drop down, and gone to ellipse. Now obviously your clocks are your whatever you've designed, you need to do it in the shape that you've got. So I'm going to click on ellipse. And I'm going to draw out. So you can see it start wherever I click, that's going to be the center. So what I'm going to do is to start at the center there when I draw my ellipse. What it's doing there is telling me what size I've made it. Okay, so currently that's 154 millimeters. Okay, which is about 15.4 centimeters. So we can go up to about 200-ish. All right, there we are. And then I can set my, my depth. So there we go, I've got the start of my shape drawn out. Okay. Now let's say, for example, my shape's a bit funky. I've got, so I can start experimenting with it. So let's now draw um, a rectangle. So you see I've drawn a rectangle over it and I've got my, my oval and my rectangle overlapping. But the shape I want is the rectangle. I don't want these lines on the inside, basically. So what I can do is I can maybe go to this tool here. It says trim. See the little scissors? Click on that. I can get rid of those lines. And it's a bit like in 2D design, the delete part tool that we used. Now. I'm going to round these corners off. Some of you might have seen what tool I can use by looking at the top. See if you can identify what tool I could use to round off these corners. Anyone seen it? It's this one, it's the fillet. If I click on those two lines, I can drag my fillet down. I can work out how much of a curve I want. If I want to, if I can, I can click on that number, double click it, and I can type it in. So if I type 30, it's done it at 30. And that means if I do it on this side, it's already remembered that I like it at 30. I can just press enter on the keyboard. Go around. Like that. Okay. Now let's say, for example, I go to the arc. I could maybe start here, draw a little arc out there. And you can just really experiment with your idea, with your design. I'm just completely making this up, by the way. It's absolute nonsense, but you get the idea. All right, I can trim some of those. I'm starting to build up a, a shape. 